What have you done to our house? Since this video has no context, and since this is the first thing I've filmed, what's in this? What's in Lessa Curse? First my phone number, now my address. Quality. Wow. Fugazi, one in the chamber. You got anything else to say about that? Um, got some guns. Give us a big shooter. Uh, yeah. Tooth Trev. Uh, <coughs> 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 this is the reason I haven't been filming videos. Trevor put this big pile of trash here. These are my shoes that I made. Got some nice stuff. They got they got a box. So now we're gonna go get the U-Haul. So Dude. Fernando, what do you think about all the shoes? Uh, there's a lot of cardboard in here, and it made me sick. How does this thing work? <laughs> no, no, no. ASAP Rocky just showed up. <laughs> He's back after fucking two years and this is how he treats me. Okay, welcome to my crib. Come on, let's go. Sam's just picked out some things from Fernando's store. Jacob's comeback video is what I picked out. It's all heaters. What are these? Oh, oh. oh those are kind of nice. These were copied from that Korean website. No, <laughs> Pick up number one, this t-shirt that just says Flash versus Ming. Looks kind of nice. I still haven't tried it. It could fit absolutely trash. Then we got these leather trousers in brown. Look at that beautiful color and the texture and the weight. Ooh! Why am I so out of breath? <laughs> We've got this Carhartt 80s sun faded hoodie, fits boxy as fuck, it's fire. We've got the big hitter, vintage, super faded, distressed, and it fits beautiful as well. Love it. Real men, cry, shop, dance, gossip, see dirt. Cook meals, clean floors, listen to women, don't bully others, do laundry, da -da 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 -da. vote and contribute to and help elect women. It's a very <laughs> Don't need pornography, I don't know about that. Crazy trousers, the OG prior to Rick Owens. Yoshiyuki Konishi vomit cargo trousers. That's that big spender tag right there. What else you got? Helmet Lang, Auto Winter 98, black M69 oh jacket, God. backpack, clout strap. Oh wow. <laughs> I forgot, you haven't filmed in months. These are some Guidi, Plug Soul, Backsit Boot, Carol, Christian Puel, prosthetic, titanium, U Soul, drip, insert, prosthetic, sneakers. <laughs> Some elitist shoes. They're supposed to hurt your foot. Now, yeah, these are a size six. I'm a size nine. Yeah. Educational pickups. This is Vivian Westwood, Auto Winter 93, Crazy. always on camera. Oh, oh shit. What the heck? Full set. Helmet Lang, 99 bulletproof vest. Oh, yeah, Chanel baby. basketball. Yoshiyuki Konishi, Dalmatian. Club promoter coat. Damn! Can with this real quick. <laughs> One time. <laughs> it's been about four months since. I've posted anything on YouTube or social media. I don't really know how to come back from this. But a lot of things have happened and I uh, wanted to fill you guys in on those and also make a good video and start making videos again because it's been way too long. I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna title this anything like where I've been for four months, but I feel like I owe you guys a little bit of an explanation. I haven't used any social media for the last couple months. There's no real simple explanation other than I just kind of got sick of it. And it wasn't because of anything specific. It was just kind of like mood thing I had and I just was like you know what fuck it I'm not doing anything I didn't go to rehab I didn't go to jail but I did kind of lose all motivation and sight of living a normal life yeah I hope that didn't make you cringe that's really the only reason I left I needed a break and I, I don't know if it, the break was healthy but I, it's gotten to a point where the break is unhealthy a lot of things have happened I've been making things I've got a lot of new pickups that I want to show you guys Trevor has been killing it lately Fernando opened a whole nother business and he's also been killing it. And also I want to address one thing. There's this misconception out there that someone actually DM Fernando. I know this was a long time ago. I don't know if you guys still remember this, but I released a pair of cargo pants and they got really popular. And uh, I still restock them from time to time. I don't want to say who made them, but there's a brand that literally ripped off the design completely. And there's another place where you can buy fakes. Some people think the fakes are the real ones. Some people think the other brand did them before I did. I do claim that design is my own. That's really when I was like, I've been gone for too long. If people think a fake is the original. If you see my cargo pants on Grail, they're somewhere else. There's a possibility they're not real. I might restock them. I also have another colorway I did. I also made a pair for Travis Scott with his logo on them. I don't know if those will ever be available for sale. That's why I'm wearing this hoodie. Bada bing bada boom. I think we got it all done. Time to get into the pickups. 2020 pickups. All right, YouTube people and Discord people, what's up? I got my Babble mega jorts. Let's just get right down to it. I'm gonna start it off with something that I've been wanting to get for a while. I just recently got them. It is 
Matthew Williams Nike shorts. These came out about two years ago. They are a running short with a myriad of pockets all over them. Most of them zipper pockets, some of them Velcro. There's a lot of different types of pockets on them. They got pockets on the back, they got hidden pockets, and then they have the little magnet buckle. I know that really doesn't cost anything to put on here. Like you can buy this exact buckle for like 20 cents on Google, but it does work pretty well. They came with a pair of tights. I don't wear the tights. They also came with this little sweatband that you can attach on the back. Doesn't really look that good in my opinion. The entire fabric is kind of like this rib stop nylon polyester material. They're a nice pair of shorts. If anything, I think they're a little bit too slim in the leg. When you sit, they kind of go up a little too high. The next item I want to show you is a puffer jacket from Helmet Lang. It is their Autumn Winter 98 Goose Down Puffer. It's a luxury take on a traditional puffer. It's made of like this cotton blend that's kind of technical. It has a hood that actually snaps on and off. Features a big silver zipper down the front and very wide quilting on the front and back. From this collection, Autumn Winter 98, there's a lot of different puffers he made. There's a really cool white one. There's some other variants of this one kind of that are longer or have a different neck. This collection was a lot of neutral tones, but it incorporated a lot of like technical fabric. And even though it's 20 years old, I think it has just a timeless look to it. Another small item I just wanted to throw in here is this pair of Jack Purcell Converse in black. These are a pretty popular shoe. A lot of people have them. It's a collaboration between Jack Purcell and Converse, and they're pretty much a traditional Converse all around, but they have a reinforced toe with a little bit of a different shape. These are a really good everyday shoe. They look good worn in. It's just a classic shoe. I think it looks really good with pants. These, in my opinion, are very worth the $60 price tag. I'll get a couple vintage things out of the way. Junior Wantanabe South Dakota Cows long sleeve. Kind of thin fitting, but I like it. Other vintage tee that's from 1988 that has some people rowing and speed walking. Next, we have a Carhartt work jacket. This is the collared one without the hood. It's kind of like this gray wash, kind of bluish almost. Very, very beautiful fading all over this. Even some light fraying on the sleeve. I wore it during the fall time quite a bit. I got this from Fernando store on Sound Rags. Shout out to them. Next up, we got another item from Alix. This was like really cheap. It's like this vest with the same pattern on it as these Nike shorts. I think this is also from the Nike collection. It's kind of like this thicker fleece. It's pullover, but then it has a zipper on the side and it's got some mesh on it. Little pocket for your phone. I gotta show you this pair of shorts from my mate Avery. These are like a couple collections old, but these are Stotts Ballet. Oh, what are they called? Like this reinforced short. They're basically like a pair of Carhartt work pants with the reinforced knee and the little rivets on them. And they're chopped, they're really thick, very nice quality. fit about at knee length. And then the bottom has these little fraying raw hems on them. They're a cream color, but if you look closely, it's got this little cotton texture in them. Huge shout out to Avery, the god. Next item is this little Gosha sweater. Don't know what it says, to be honest. I definitely could have looked it up, but it's like a little chill cotton black sweater. I think it's from 2018. It's it's not that old, it's newer. I might as well mention it. This is like an Alix cap with a little metal bit on it. Next up, we got some denim. We got this pair of Levi's orange tab black washed denim. These are actually like one of my favorite pairs of denim right now. They have this really normal wash on them, but they fit really nicely. Then I undid the hem to make them a little bit longer and I flattened it out so it has this flat undone hem. This other pair of pants I got is basically a pair of cowboy jeans. They got dirt stains on them. They're kind of like a light blue wash. And then the rips along the knees and the shins are like reinforced. So it has this cool stitching on them. They also developed this knee hole on them. This next item I got is a flannel. I think it's from like the 60s these and it's this simple black and white pattern and then whoever had it cut it and I also really like this simple big pattern. Next thing is this vintage light jacket. It's green and it kind of looks like a taxi driver slash unibomber jacket. Okay so I got some more items, some heaters, but before that I'm gonna cut it to Trevor and Fernando and uh, we'll be back here in a second. Um, Which one do you use pinhead? <laughs> like pinhead. Yo. I don't know if you still remember how to do this or what we're doing right now. It's been a while so I'm sure you've acquired a lot new items. All my pickups from this past, when was the last time you uploaded a video? Like a year ago? I haven't bought anything over a hundred dollars. What about these? I mean, Those are crystals, dude. Don't ask where I got them. Wherever you got them is less than a hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> we can't promote that. Got these pants from Unsound Rags. Fernando started a whole new company. These, I got these for free. Uh, I got these for free. Really like what Owen did with these. Like the raw hem. Release time. What do you think about the wash? It's cool. What do you think about the fit? Fits me well. 
I made this. I stole this design from D Dover Street Market website. Here, there's hmm. a brand called Better Gift Shop. And they made this, but then I just took the graphic. Like, I got these on Black Friday. So Elliot Emanuel? Elliot Emanuel. It's like Elliot Emil. I got this sample. Wow. Very nice. Great pickups, Trevor. You've been. I didn't get. You've been anything. up to good work. I found enlightenment. Wearing the same fit every single day for a year. <laughs> Before we get into like the business side of what you've got going on, I want to just it's delve like into the first thing, which was the meme you dropped about four months ago. <laughs> Went kind what of viral. It's dead. I failed. I made a meme and then I made a shoe. Are you worried about like a <laughs> from? Beep. Don't. Like I Trevor's on no, I'm right now. Yeah. Trevor made a hundred percent an original shoe. Kudos to you, dude. I love all the details on it. Quality was on point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a different dude. It's so, it looks like a grandma, dude. Look at this. My roommate has more wrapped than you. It's the whole consumed collection. Fernando's is jealous. Oh, bro, <laughs> hell no. Hell Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, so next up, we got a jacket from Capital Country. It is a Boro denim jacket. Bro, are you on 4chan? I don't know what you're doing. It is a patchwork jacket that has been destroyed, distressed, and repaired in a Boro style. It's got stitching all over it. It's got a few different shades of denim and like a cool, like yellowish wear to it, and then a yellow thread. This is actually from my boy Kel at Horvacchio. Big shout out to Kel. Check out his store. Second best archive store. Close personal friend of the uh, channel. Next few items are all from Silver League. So, Fernando, what is this graphic? in reference to the cure song 100 years off pornography rap was a big porn guy and the last archive item I have to show you is also from Raph Simmons. The best designer. The Haunted Places crew neck in black from Autumn Winter 05. It just has a list of haunted places on the front. These are cotton patches that are sewed on on a raglan sweater. It's a size 50. The rarest size. I think that's all the items I have to show. This video hopefully was like 10 minutes, 12 minutes with a lot of different cameos in it. I want to make more videos. So if you have any suggestions for videos, let me know in the comments and just uh, let me know how you're doing. I love you all. I'll see you all very soon. My name is Jacob. Peace out and take care. See you in one year. Look at this. Look to the camera slowly. Look slowly to the camera. Yo, look slowly. <laughs>